Hey, what is up, guys? In here with you to video, and in this video, we're going to be doing a tech review where I review some tech and we talk about it and I give you the pros and cons about it. So let's go ahead and get in the video. In this video, we're going to be doing a review over the Sono Bass Wireless Over the Ear Headphones by SoundPal. Starting off with comfortability, these headphones were incredibly comfortable on my head. The ear cups were super soft and plush, and this le it almost feels like real leather. It's super soft, it fits on my ears perfectly, and it's real snug fit, and it's really comfortable, super soft and plush. I love the feeling these headphones are not too heavy, and they fit just right. For durability, I was incredibly impressed how well these headphones stood up. As you can see in this kind of stress test video I did here, I almost got these headphones twisted and turned and flattened out, almost to where they're almost completely flat, and they didn't even creak or make any kinds of sounds of weakness. These headphones are very durable and can handle anything you throw at them. There are two types of cables included, a Type-C charging cable and a 3.5mm aux cable. These headphones do have Bluetooth 4.1 capability, which means that they can be connected either Bluetooth or by a cable. These headphones also feature hands-free communication, which allows you to make phone calls and receive phone calls through the microphone on the side of the headphones. You won't be seeing yourself charging these headphones near as much as you think because these headphones include a battery capable of having a battery lifespan of up to 250 hours. That's incredible. Lastly, I would like to talk about the hard shell case that these headphones come with. This case is very durable and strong, and if you drop your headphones when they're inside this case, they will be protected with no problem. Even with the headphones tucked up inside of the case, there is plenty of room for your cables for both charging and for the aux cord. I don't know about you, but if I have 250 hours of battery life, I think I'm gonna stick with my wireless Bluetooth. But that's pretty much it for this review, guys. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that like button down below. But thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Back from the dead.